Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. And yes, I'm wearing my St. Thomas hat because, you know, yes, St. Thomas Day was July 3rd. But, you know, mm -hmm, it makes sense. I am what I am. And I don't need spinach. And this was given to me, well, the hat I bought, but the title was given to me by my church. And this is what episode three was going to be about, all my titles. However, with the destruction of the Georgia Guidestones, my titles will be put off to episode four next week. So let's talk about what happened. Let me read this NBC article, which I post on a certain social media site, which I'm unfortunately um, not allowed to post anything for another three days. Hmm. I get mad. So it is. I said the wrong thing. I got broken nail. I just noticed it. I don't want to do a part. I don't want to do this another thing. Ow. Yeah. Pull off the nail. How about that for a video? I'm not doing another video of this. This is like my third time doing this. And it's going to take me twice as long to upload it. So. Deal with my insanity. So, this author, Tim Stelloff, wrote a Georgia monument that drew curious visitors and was derived by a gubernatorial, gubernatorial, let me see if I can hear it. Gubernatorial. Gubernatorial. Thank you. A gubernatorial, a gubernatorial, a gubernatorial candidate as satanic was destroyed Wednesday after authorities said someone detonated an explosive device at the site. Gubernatorial means relating to a state governor or the office of state governor. So you know, I looked it up. Gubernatorial. The Georgia Guidestones, a granite monument adored adorned with a message about the conservation of humanity, was demolished for safety reasons after the 4 a.m. explosion in Elbert County, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation said in a statement. In two weeks, I talk about my new glasses. Whew. Anyway, the agency released surveillance video showing the explosion and a silver sedan leaving the scene shortly after the detonation. No motive has been identified, and the agency has said only that unknown individuals detonated the device. The 10-foot-tall monument, dubbed America Stonehenge, bore a 10-part message in 12 languages, according to the tourism site Explore Georgia. Christopher Kubas, the executive vice president of the Albertan Granite Association, which helped to maintain the site, said it drew more than 20,000 visitors annually, NBC affiliate WYFF of Greenville, South Carolina reported. The message called for keeping the Earth's population under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature and creating a living new language to guide reproduction wisely, among other things, according to the Elbert County Chamber of Commerce. An account of the sighting's origins on the Chamber's website says it was funded by an anonymous small group of loyal Americans who believe in God and lived outside Georgia. The group wanted to leave a message for future generations, according to the account. Kubas said Wednesday that some found the message offensive and that the monument had previously been spray-painted, WYFF reported. A former candidate for governor, Republican Candace Taylor, had pledged to turn the monument to, to dust were she to be elected. That's K-A-N-D-I-S-S, -S, Taylor. She wanted to turn it to dust. Taylor placed third in the state's May 24th primary with a 3-4% to 4 of the vote.
in a video Wednesday, she said she believed God had struck down the monuments, which she refers to in a tweet as satanic guidestones. Quote, until I see a video that shows me anything but what looked like lightning or the hand of God moving on a, moving on a situation, I'm going to believe it was God, she said. It was vandalism, then there's cameras. If it was vandalism, then there's cameras. Then, then, then there's cameras everywhere. Well, let's see. Since it was said a silver sedan left it, obviously there were cameras. Quote, those people should be brought to justice, she said, adding that she didn't support them demolishing the structure through means outside of our legal system. The monument was in Elbert County in the northeastern part of Georgia, across the Savannah River from South Carolina. Oh, yeah, because... There was a group of Whovians I wanted to meet, which were two and a half hours northwest. And I don't remember. I knew I wanted to see the Georgia Guidestones one day. But then with everything happening, with the gas, for God's sakes, uh, the ignorance of people, which, of course, this, that's another story for ignorant people, which we all know about. I'm going to talk about sooner or later. For, for this to happen, act of God, my... There's another bunch of idiots. This was privately funded on a private land. And for some... Heretics will say, well, we don't like it. We're going to destroy it. You know, I, it's sad. Then again, people could bring up, well, what about all these other monuments? I'm not going to get into that. Mm -mm, I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to touch it at all. It was created in 1979. Let's, let me jump to another one. The world is Georgia's it's probably one of the Georgia's strangest attractions. It was built in 79. Trying to read this other article real fast. Um, it, where's the pause button? Oh, there it is. The stone structure site on a five acre plot along Highway 47, about eight miles north of Elberton. Elberton, wherever Georgia say it. The origin. The origin story of the stones goes back to 1979. Uh, John Findley of the Elbert Granite Finishing Company was approached by a was approached quote by a neatly dressed man unquote about building the monument. The man used a pseudonym identifying himself as Robert C. Christian, saying he wanted to build the wanted to build the structure. On either side of the stones making up the monument. Oh, pause! I thought I hit pause. Uh, give me a second. Uh, come on. There you go. Just no, 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 no. Back. Oh, back. Holy macro. There's a pause. Okay. So tiny. On either side of the stones making up the monument is the same inscription written in eight of the world's major languages. The guide stones are 19 feet, 3 inches, made from six granite slabs weighing 237,746 pounds. The monument remains a mystery to this day. No one knows who commissioned it or why. Hmm. That was it for that article. That video, I should say. Uh, 
Nice mystery until it's Demolition Wednesday. No one knows who commissioned it or why. Uh, like I said, da, da, da. a small group of loyal Americans who believe in God. He said he lived outside of Georgia and wanted to leave a message for future generations. Uh, after leaving the meeting with Finley, Christian went to a Granite City bank to get a loan for the project. There he met with Wyatt C. Martin. Uh, he planned the monument for 20 years, said the group wished to remain anonymous. It revealed to Martin that his real name was not Robert Christian. It was a pseudonym chosen because of his Christian beliefs. So Christian believed this was the right thing. 500, was it again? 500,000 million? I forget, 500 million? It's late, I'm tired. But we are overpopulated with people. People that don't do anything, but take and take and take. And that's why the virus was created. It's supposed to, how about that? The virus was created by God through scientists in a lab spread out. Take that. Um... To this day, Martin is said to be the only person who knows the real identity of Christian. Project of the monument, what that Christian brought to the Elbert Granite finishing company, closely resembles Stonehenge of, Stonehenge of England, in England, of course. Uh, Pyramid Blue Granite was from Pyramid Quarry was chosen for the monument. HPs were weighed around 28 approximately eight, 28 tons making the project become one of the most challenging projects to be worked on in Elberton let's see was uh, Charlie Clamp was the sandblaster chosen to etch the message which was more than 4,000 individual letters built to survive this built to survive the apocalypse the Georgia Guidestones are not merely instructions for future the massive granite slab also function as a clock a calendar and compass. On either side of the four stones making up the monument was the same inscription written in eight of the world's major languages: English, Spanish, Russian, Chinese, Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. That's a new one. Arabic, Hebrew, Hindi, and Swahili. A mission statement of sort. Let these be guide stones to an age of reason. Was all was also to be engraved on the sides of the capstones of in Egypt's higher, in oh sorry a mission statement of sorts let these guide stones to be let these be guide stones to an age of reason was also to be engraved on the sides of the capstones in Egyptian hieroglyphics classic Greek Sanskrit and Babylonian cuneiform never heard that word before the United Nations provided some of the translations, including those for the dead languages, which were sketched onto one stone and etched with a sandblaster. The transcription said, Maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely. Improving fitness and diversity. Unite humanity with a living new language, rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolve external disputes in a world court, avoid petty laws and useless officials, balance personal rights with social duties, prize truth, beauty, love, Seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. The message inscribed on the stone seems to advocate a population control, harmony with nature, and internationalism, which made them the object of conspiracy theories. The guide zones were destroyed Wednesday after someone set off an explosive device on them. One of the set of stones were damaged in the explosion and demol and crews demolished the whole structure over safety reasons. That's be quote-unquote. 
That last article was from the WSBTV.com news staff in Atlanta. It's... Again, I'm not going to talk about monuments that were created. This, that, and the other thing. The... Roe versus Wade situation, you know. Um, there's so many things about that. You know, there, there are so many side issues. It's not saying it's nothing is in black and white, never has been. You know, for me, downright, People annoy me to no end. Majority of them just have their own little opinions and they should keep their mouth shut about it. Give me an example. I don't have it here because you can wash right now, but um, yeah, I wear the mask. You know, uh, Vogue mask, which is a very it's an expensive mask, very good too. Or these turtles, which uh, you put on there, put under there. You can people can hear you because it's not the mask on covering the mouth. If some piece of garbage say they can't hear me, it's a lie. They're just you know the way they are. So I have this on, have on the shield. And on Sunday, some churchgoer says, "Well, you're all protected up." His wife said, he's protecting himself because the environment he's working in. You know, very nice of her to say. Because it's true. People are the way they are. They don't cover their mouths. They lick their fingers. They, they scratch their ass and they touch the money and they give it to you. It's disgusting. People are filthy. His reply to me was, you must be listening to Dr. Fauci. I said, no, common sense. He shut up really fast. I got to protect myself. I get to protect my family. I don't give a flying about anyone else. My family, myself, that's what's important. A couple of years ago, when all this started, before all this started, I was sick for a month. No, no. I didn't have it. I was not infected because I can do everything, but I was just, you know, sore throat. Sometimes had a fever. Shoot, I break a fever like that. It's no big deal, but I just, you know, had a cough, ongoing cough. I'm fine now. Shoot, I put uh, some buffalo sauce in my, uh, my sub today. Boy, can I breathe. <sighs> oh, yeah. I can breathe. I can taste. That was a burning sensation. And I'm cleaned out. So, yum, yum. But I'll talk about the COVID thing another time. But you know, it's just, I think I have it on my list. A little list of things. Another list here was that whole clay thing I want to put the, the power swords in, you know, example, you know, this is not one of the power swords. The joke would be it's, it's from Faker, from Masters of the Universe. The idea of um, seven power swords around a, mon a, um, a hill, a stone, big stone with the one on top, and it's lying outside of it because it's the seven power swords, and this is number eight, and it's not real, so it, it lies there. So it's funny. It's hilarious. I have no place for it. But it's something in the future. Um, let me write that down. Uh, see, I have... Um, oh, yes. Episode 3 I had for titles, but... Uh, uh, 
I also talk about the power swords, which I'll somehow get the camera around. My voices, characters, uh, customers, you know, more about them. Uh, next month, sometime, I'll be talking about my late my late director, Paul Wegman. That's a big story right there. My toys, my life, Doctor Who stories, Dazzle.com. Dazzle.com. Oh, yeah, that's for stories. Um, it's right down COVID. That's a whole situation there. And I almost took my receipt and hid it under there. I got a survey through Subway. I'm going to get two free cookies next week. Anyway. You know, we'll talk about the COVID situation. Whole thing later. But again, I was sick. You know, I did not have the virus. For a month. And someone I know, he was sick for 10 weeks. He has no immune system at all. And no insurance because he's an artist and he stays home and does everything. So, the people that are allergic to the some an ingredient in the shots, you know, it's all about it comes down to majority of people are horrible. They don't care. Spraying the virus around, say, oh, I got over it. What about anyone else? Oh, survival of the fittest. I don't know how in the hell you people exist. Because to me, you're worthless. You can't put carts back where they belong. You can't put products back where they belong. You want to spread the virus. You know? And destroy monuments, you know? That's the big thing, destroying monuments. And nothing to do with anything. I don't care. Shut up. Lock yourself up in a box and swallow the key. Because you're useless. We're destroying something privately owned because someone had a triggered situation. I don't like the way you look. Well, I don't like the way you look. How about that? But, so, my little rant, leads other things, but that's not everything. That isn't everything. One thing leads to another. I am sad and disgusted by the destruction of the Georgia Guidestones. Sorry. It's supposed to last the apocalypse, and it ends up being destroyed by some two-bit piece of garbage. This is why we can't have nice things. Because, in general, people are stupid. Yeah, I suppose I get subscribers, I'm calling people stupid. It is what it is. I mean, I'm a good guy. But when you push me, I push back. It's very simple. I'm here to entertain. I want to show you all everything I got. It's like, wow, where does he get all these wonderful toys? Oops. Oh, come on, Joker. You don't belong in jars. This Joker. I have five more to sell. Oh, most of them will be, hopefully, will be sealed. Because I wanted the chase version. I wanted the chase version of Jack. With the makeup. Running down his face. When he said. Where does he get all these wonderful toys? I got one. In a box. I bought a case. And it was the same price as single ones. So. I'll be selling loose ones. You know with the can and everything. Unless you get the whole thing. It's just it's had to find out what he is. And I'm keeping the chase. So, there you go. I don't remember how much they were. Some like 20 bucks. But, um, I figured out the price breakdown. You know, if you want one, you know, I'll sell it to you. 20 bucks. Whatever it is. $27. Under $30. Because, you know, things happen. But if you want one. I got it. 
Okay? Don't fall, Jay. Don't fall. Don't, don't fall. Be swelling. Kool-Aid Man. Four bucks. If you want one, I can get you some. I can say there's probably seven left. I don't have seven, but I can get seven. There are seven left in my store. It's it's a little Kool-Aid with character. You know? I can get this for you. If you want one, I'll get it for you. Four bucks. Then I'll throw in the and you know, mail to you, shipping all that good stuff. I forgot the shipping. There may be a time to go free shipping. It doesn't matter. I'm a good person. I believe in what's right. You don't do stupid things. Like blowing up monuments. Destroying things that don't belong to you. Get a clue, people. Understand you're not meant to do things like that. I'm speaking to all 7 billion people that are watching my video right now. That's why that has to be minimized. There's too many people. There's 7 billion people watching my video right now. How about that for content? Christian! There's your content. What can I say? I do plan on writing that down because I'm going to forget that I did this video. No, I, I need to write down Georgia Guidestones because I would like to throw that into a story some way, somehow. And I can. Even at a glimpse, saying I wanted to go to Georgia Guidestones. So why are we here 19... 19 something, 20 something, because in 2022, some idiot in a silver sedan destroyed the Georgia Guidestones. And I'd be replied, well, why can you stop them? Is it because it's now a fixed point in time? Can't stop stupidity. It's happened, cannot be changed. People don't understand that. They do something stupid in their own little pea brains thinking they did it for the righteous thing. It's been up since 1979. And just because you're triggered by the whole thing, it doesn't matter. It doesn't belong to you. I hope, that, I hope the ones that did it get punished severely. And all the ones that believe in them are punished one way or another. Karma does happen. Trust me. I know. So, not a light video, is it? A ranting video it is. I want to do all my rants on another set of videos, but you know what? I already do like two videos a day. My little short of what's going on in my head because I can't post anywhere else. Main post. Can't even post on the page I created on that social media site yet for another three days. And so, yes. Another thing is roses around here. There's lots of Darkness as well. That's why I turned the light on because it's dark. You know, there'll be lightheartedness, there'll be sad times, there'll be times I'm just furious as can be. I'm angry, yes, but I'm not, you know, full force and I won't be that full force. Opinions, I have my opinions, and most of them are right. So I want to say, oh, blah, blah, blah. no, you're an idiot. You destroyed something that doesn't belong to you. Your opinion means nothing. I'm stating fact. What was the line? Um, let me see if I close it or not. Oh, I left it up here. So I'll talk about religion later on. Another, another story. Did I write that down too? Let me see. Again, I wrote down my titles. Power Swords Voices, Characters, Customers, COVID, 
my late director Paul Wegman, Toys, Life, Religion. Mainly all the things I know here and there. Here's a quote from David Bowie to end the show. I'm not doing as his voice. I'm I can hear David's voice in my head, but I you know. Religion is for people who fear hell. Spirituality is for people who have been there. With that, I say goodnight. <laughs>